So let's start with a skull. So skull uh, divided into three different parts. One is the facial bone, the other one is cranial bone, and the last one is associated bones. So uh, some of the cranial bones or facial bones are uh, single, and some other ones are um, paired. It means that's one on each side. So when I talk about it, I will tell you which ones are paired. Uh, or one on each side and, and the other ones are unpaired, mean, which means it is just a single one. Uh, so of the facial bones, so the nasal bone, this is paired, one on each side. Lacrimal bone, that is also paired. Uh, maxilla is paired. Zygomatic bone is also paired. The one that are not paired means this is only one single one, is vomer and mandible. Or lower jaw. The cranial bones, uh, the frontal bone is paired, I mean the frontal bone is not paired, uh, parietal bone is paired, and occipital bone is unpaired. So frontal unpaired, parietal is paired, occipital bone is not paired. Temporal bone is paired, one on each side, and the ethmoid bone and sphenoid bones, these two bones are not paired, they are just single. Associated bone, one is the hyoid bone, this is a single bone in the neck, different muscles attached to it, uh, you will see the importance of that when we get to the um, chapter 11. And also there is auditory ossicles, ossicles means small bones and there is three of them on each side. So this, these bones are located inside the temporal bone, inside temporal bone. So this is the view of the skull, easy to uh, see it from the frontal view, you can divide it into three parts, the upper part, the middle part, and the lower part. So in the upper part, the main bone that you see, this is the frontal bone, this is the frontal bone. In the background, this one that you see, this is the parietal bone, okay, in the back. I will show you from a different view, it's, it's easier to see it. Uh, then uh, in the middle there's a lot of things are going on so this is the orbital cavity this is where eyes are located of the bones that an orbital cavity one is the sphenoid bone so sphenoid bone starts all the way from you know one side is covering the back of the orbital cavity goes all the way to the other side it's just a single bone um, you also have some other bones like this one this is called ethmoid bone Ethmoid. So part of the ethmoid bone, you can see it here. Part of it, you can see it here in this area. So these are the ethmoid bones, okay? All three of them together. This is the nasal cavity, okay? Um, and um, also some other bones that you see in the orbital cavity here. A small bone here, you can see this is the pali um, palatine bone. Um, and this one is called the lacrimal bone, this one. And this area is not... Uh, shown anything is not labeled but this is part of this bone this is the maxilla uh, for, and um, laterally you can see the zygomatic bone uh, this is the cheekbone um, and inside the nasal cavity so you have this ethmoid bone in this area this one is vomer v-o-m-e-r and this is called inferior nasal concha the one on each side uh, you have the upper jaw this is the upper jaw, this is maxilla, and in the lower part, this is the lower jaw, and this is, this is also, uh, the teeth are attached to the lower jaw, and that's called mandible. Uh, one uh, terminology to know is called calvaria, so calvaria is frontal bone, parietal bone, and occipital bone together. For example, if there is any kind of surgery going on in the brain, so the surgeon can cut the skull, like this, so they are removing calvaria. So that's the name comes from. Uh, there is also a, another term is called suture. So suture is a connection between the two bones in the skull. They are irregular in shape, it's just like a sawtooth. Uh, there's a few sutures here. Uh, this is called coronal suture. If you go back to lab one, you should know uh, which plane is coronal suture. 
if you don't remember it, it's anterior and posterior. So separating the body to anterior posterior um, section. Uh, so the coronal bone, uh, the coronal suture is uh, uh, connecting the frontal bone and the parietal bone. And here is another uh, bone here, uh, the occipital bone all the way at the back, and the occipital bone is separated from the parietal bone by the lambdoid suture. So this is the lambdoid suture. And here is another bone. This is called the temporal bone, and the temporal bone is separated from parietal bone by the squamous suture. Um, uh, so you can see there's a lot of different structures that are going on in the temporal bone and when the time comes I'll come back to that. But one thing that is important here uh, because it's easier to see um, it is the, this process. Process is a bony projection. Uh, if you guys don't remember then these names please go back to chapter 6. There is two slides that I told you to look at it, that is for uh, terminology of uh, uh, bones, so please uh, go back and read those two slides before kind of reviewing this chapter. So this is the process, uh, this is going and attaching to the zygomatic bone, so that's why this is called a zygomatic uh, process. And that uh, articulates with the process of the zygomatic bone and that process is called the temporal process. So these two processes together, this is called the zygomatic arch. Uh, this is the orbital cavity that I was telling you that this eye is located there. Uh, and this is the ethmoid bone located medially. Anterior to that is the lacrimal bone. Anterior to that is the maxilla. This whole thing, this is the upper jaw, this is maxilla. And uh, here is the nasal bone which makes the upper part of the nasal cavity. And the lower part uh, uh, here is the mandible, so that makes the lower jaw. Uh, from posterior view you can see the occipital bone that is separated from the two parietal bones by the lambdoid suture. This is the lambdoid suture. And uh, these are the parietal bones, uh, there are two of them, and they are separated from each other by the sagittal suture. Yeah, if you don't remember sagittal plane, go back to chapter 1, but as a reminder, sagittal plane is splitting the body into right and left. And look at the mandible at the background, okay? Uh, this is a superior view, so you can see uh, the two parietal bones here. They are separating from each other by the sagittal suture. These two parietal bones are also separating from the frontal bone by the coronal suture and from the occipital bone by the lambdoid suture.